Welcome to our next video. We're talking about the average accounting rate of return. The average accounting rate of return is equal to the average net income divided by the average book value. So we need to calculate net income first and we need to calculate, of course, the average book value. We have an example. Blue numbers are the example numbers or the numbers giving us the example. So, say we have an initial investment of $150,000. We buy a machine, we pay $150,000. And there's, there are three years. Sales, the sales cost by this machine equal $140,000 in the first year, $80,000 in the second, and $90,000 in the third year. But, as a consequence, there are also cash expenses caused by this machine or caused by the additional sales. $20,000 in the first year, $5,000 in the second, and $5,000 in the third year. Which means that we need to subtract the cash expenses from sales. And of course, we need to take a look, a closer look at the depreciation expenses. Initial investment of $150,000 and straight line depreciation gives us a depreciation of 150 divided by 3 equal 50, equal to $50,000 each year. $50,000 in the first, $50,000 in the second, and another $50,000 in the third year. So now, earnings before taxes are equal to sales minus cash expenses minus depreciation, which means $140,000 minus $20,000 minus $50,000 equal $70,000. Before paying taxes, there's an earning. Earnings in the first year equal to $70,000 in the first year and $25,000 in the second, because it's $80,000 minus $5,000 minus $50,000. So, earnings before taxes need to be multiplied with a tax rate let there be a tax rate of 40% per year. You multiply earnings before taxes with the tax rate, which means $70,000 multiplied by 0.4 by 40% equal, is equal to $28,000, to taxes of $28,000, which means that if you subtract taxes from earnings before taxes, you get net income. And this is what we wanted to calculate. Net income is equal to $42,000 in the first year, is equal to $15,000 in the second, and $21,000 in the third year. Those are numbers, those are the numbers of net income. So now, let us just calculate average net income. Average net income, of course, is $42,000 plus $15,000 plus $21,000 you sum up those three numbers, you divide the result by three, and you get $26,000. $26,000 is the average net income. Because you buy this machine, you pay $150,000, you get additional sales, you get additional cash expenses, you get cost by this machine only, you get these numbers of net income in three different years, which means as an average, as an average number, you have the average net income of $26,000. Now, you need to calculate, you want to calculate the average book value. If there is no <coughs> value after the end of, third, of the third year, you have $150,000, the initial invest, investment, minus zero, divided by two, because you want to calculate the average book value. So the average book value of course, is equal to $75,000. An average net income of $26,000 divided by the average book value of $75,000, of course, is equal to 0 0.347. That's the average accounting rate of return. So you need to have a large example of 
additional sales of additional cash expenses, you need to calculate the depreciation. You want to know the tax rate to be able to calculate the taxes and to, a, to be able to calculate net income and thus giving us average net income, average book value to be able to calculate average accounting rate of return. Thank you for watching.